Why Carrick is trying to give him a high five, I don't know. Let him get down the tunnel. And there's nothing wrong with a player being upset. Nothing wrong with that. But Ronaldo has not come back to Manchester United to sit on that bench. What is the point? He's a world-class player. He's fantastic. His stats since he's come to the club are OK. You know, he's got some goals and assists. This idea that Ronaldo is going to start closing the people down, is not. But sometimes you have to walk around the superstar. I've played with players who don't do the bit that you hope. The Canton is of this world. But you forgive them because, you know, these are guys who scored the winning goals in the tight matches. Ronaldo's got to be in the starting eleven, And this idea, manager, he's resting him. They played the other night. Villarreal didn't take a big lot out of the players. They're not playing until Thursday night. He could have played today easily. Do you think Rangnick will see it like that? No. No. I, I think Rangnick will... Not cause himself a problem initially coming into the club and, and, and putting Cristiano Ronaldo on a bench. Uh, but I think this idea that Cristiano Ronaldo has to start every game and play every minute of every game, I don't think it's right. I think going away to big games, I can understand why Michael Carrick never started him today. You saw when Oli brought him off in Switzerland, I think, in, in an early group game. They were down to 10 men in the game. They brought him off and they lost the game because of a Jesse Lingard bad back pass. And it was this big story. He brought Ronaldo off. He's 36. He then uh, didn't start him against Everton. Ronaldo walked down the tunnel. Now, <laughs> Ronaldo's not the player he was. He's still, obviously, delivering for Manchester United in terms of goals, but I, I don't think it should be a big story if Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't start every game or, at times, comes off. Not every game, game Jamie, but it, this, is, this, this is a big game for Man United, too. You, I, I'd forgive some of the other the group games in the Champions League where still thinking United are going to get through. I understand that. But Ronaldo, if, if you bumped into him in the car park... You see a guy who's won everything in the game, who's come back to United to try and lift the club. Of course he'd want to play in these games. Of course he'd want to play. No, that's the... Well, that's every player, Roy, isn't they want to play in the game? Yeah, but they're not all world-class. But they're not all world-class. They've not scored Ronaldo 800 won. goals in their career. If you're watching Man United today and Man United are poor, you're looking and going, you still think if United, Ronaldo's on the pitch, you're still thinking, whatever your feel is going, well, I just think if a ball falls to anybody in world football, even now at 36... It's Ronaldo. It sounds as if he's come back to the club and he's not scored. And you go, he can't get up to speed. He looks off it. He looks as if he's not interested. He looks on it. He looks interested. But this idea that he's then getting the blame for the high press and Ronaldo... But he doesn't press, does he? He's not pressed for four, five, six years. I, I said that when he came back to him. I said, Ronaldo, <laughs> Ronaldo's not going to fix Man United problems, but you don't bring Ronaldo back to Man United to sit on the bench. Of course, he's not going to start every game. But it's Chelsea away where it's going to be counter-attack. You might get one or two balls into the box. But does he have to press? The thing is, does he have to press? You want to drop it to Do you have to be successful for Ronaldo to press? Exactly. So you need to find a way to get Ronaldo on the pitch and... Rash, do you think Rash should press today? No. Well, why did Manchester United it. sign Ronaldo when they signed him? They signed him because they were terrified he went to Man City. That's why they signed him. There was no plan to sign Ronaldo. He was never going to go signed to him at the last minute. But he was always going to play, Jim. He was, play, he was always going to play. They're going to sign him just not to go to City, but come and sit with us on the bench. He's I didn't say that. No, but you said that's what I'm saying. Is, is Cristiano Ronaldo, as a Manchester United manager, not allowed to put Cristiano Ronaldo on the bench? Of course he is. They've come here and the, the guy who played is. scored the goal. What, if, show me his. We're talking, about, we're talking about stats. Stats obviously taking over the world. His stats since he's come back to Man United are good. Goal scoring wise, yeah. All Definitely. Right. All That's right. What yeah, yeah. What's the game about? No, what's, the goal? what's the game about? Where are Man United? You talk about Salah. The, the game's about goals, Jamie. The game's about goals. Go, uh, you said, and go, goals. Well, goals. That's what That's the game's what about. Ian Rush. Ian Rush, what, what did Ian Rush do? He scored goals. Did he press as well? Yeah, he yeah, did. Ronaldo doesn't. But he didn't score as many as Ronaldo. I'm not criticising Ronaldo as a player. What can he do at 37? He's a phenomenon in terms of goals. But I mentioned this in midweek with Lionel Messi. Paris Saint-Germain have signed Messi. United have signed Ronaldo, two of the greatest players of this generation. Yes, two of the greatest players of all time. Are Man United closer to the league title right now than they were last season? No. A, a, a PSG closer to the Champions League with Messi in the team? No. You, we, we speak about goal scorers or whatever position you are, you bring your own input to the game. But it's a team game. For so you think them. it's a mistake signing Ronaldo? But Ronaldo was never oh. going to get Man United back winning league titles. What was the point in signing them? To come back and win trophies. Did you win the FA Cup? Did you win the FA Cup? Yeah, to come back to win the FA Cup and get the Champions League. They've gotten the next. They've gotten the next round of the Champions League. How much do you think that's worth to the club? If you're looking at the business side of it, the glaze, your share price. That's what he's come back for. Yeah. I so said that if you Ma finish Ronaldo's second not going to fix. If you finish second, second's last no year, good to you. I, I, I know exactly. Yeah. So you then sign Ronaldo at 37. You're not going to win the league in four years. If you sign someone at 36, 37, it's to win right now. If you sign Varane, a four times Champions League winner and a World Cup winner, it's to win right now. 
Are there any do you think, to the Roy, league? No. Are a any few closer? months ago, when Ronaldo signed for Man United, anyone who said right Ronaldo now? is... No, he's not come back to win the league. What's he come back to? come back to help him win a trophy. What's he here for? So in the meantime... What is he here for? Well, Marino didn't win the league, but he won one or two trophies. You finished second So when you won the FA Cup and other trophies, were you not think? Were you not buzzing with that? Man United are a cup team at the moment. You just said Ronaldo never come here to win the league. What is he here for? To win trophies. What are you at Man United for? Cups. Why have I gone through this? I, is I, that where Man United have gone? Absolutely. We're happy with Cups. Absolutely. Oh, I'm not, but that's where they are as a club. Uh, look at the team, look at the league, look at the last two or three years. They're not going to win the league for the next two or three years, I tell so you what, that. So what would you sign Ronaldo for then, at 37? How if they're not going to win in the next two or three years, start getting Greenwood on the pitch, start getting Sancho on the pitch. If they're not going to win trophies. the league right we're now... Tr- we're never going to win the league, but Ronaldo was never so going to be the So what was the point? Gap. There's no point signing I'll them. I'll say it one more time, to win some trophies, FA Cups. Oh. Yeah, I know. That's where they are. Time to go.